Hello everyone, it's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with the match reaction. Oh boys, Sheffield free, Manchester United free. Boy, boy, and bloody boy. I have to say it again, guys. And bloody boy, what an absolutely awful performance today, guys. Oh, what an absolutely performance. We wasn't even lucky for the for the points that we've just received today, guys. We was lucky. And all I've got to say today, guys, Phil Bloody Jones. Phil Clumsy Joe Jones, whatever your name is. I'm tired of you, Phil Jones. I'm so tired of it. What a clumsy fool. Once again, added to his numerous episodes. Another one for the series. Another one for the collection. Just another clumsiness of Phil Jones. Just again and again and again. Why did you start? Why did you play? And you know what? I have to blame Oli on the social for that. Oli, that was your fault. That's your fault. You and you know what the most embarrassing thing about it is that you had to take him off in the at the end in the half time. I mean, you had to take him off at half time. What a mistake you made. Why did you play him? Just why did you play him? He made him I, I, I saw it coming. And the moment I saw oh my god, Phil Jones is starting. We're going to concede. Yep. He he's definitely going to um make another mistake even beforehand there was already men just flying around of phil jones making mistakes if him and his usual face you know that face they would make another one just another one to add to the episode just another one to add to the series it was an awful first 20 minutes i've got to say it was the worst 20 minutes of my life sheffield united was all over us just attacking us attacking us attacking us and we was even lucky to even keep it at nil nil in the first 20 minutes i thought david de Gea made an excellent slave save in the first 20 minutes saved us about two 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 or three times and then after that we went one nil down and that was due to that stupid guy phil jones i'm just tired of him phil clumsy bloody jones Chuckle, one half of the Chuckle Brothers, I used to say. And I'm always going to say that. We went 1-0 down and then end up going 2-0 down before half-time. I mean, two -nil, we went 2-0 down in the second half. But I have to say it was a bad first half. It was terrible. And then as soon as the second goal went in, we were all thinking of it. I was thinking of it. I don't know about you guys, but I was. Yep, yeah, Oli, you're done out here, bruv. 2-0, and if we don't come back from this, bruv, you need to go home. You need to leave. Quit your job. Just quit your job. And as soon as we was 2-0 down, it was Oli in or Oli out, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. None of you can lie that. You have to admit that at 2-0 down, it was definitely Oli in and or Oli out. Come on, Putch, if it's Putch in. We was all thinking about, about that in our head. And then... It got to the 70th minute, and then finally, we actually got a goal. We scored our first goal. Well done, Brandon Williams. You got your first goal. I'm absolutely proud of you. It was a banging goal. It was a very good goal. You took a nice volley. Well, well, good play by Marcus Rashford. He ran down the wing and then crossed it in for that uh, for that Brandon Williams to get the hub volley in. But I was going to say, and then and it was a just it was a very good seven minutes. Where we came back from 2-0 two, two, two no down, we made it 3-2. But to come back, Brandon Williams set the pace. He was the, what's it called? He paved the way. He absolutely paved the way. And then I have to say, if it wasn't because of him, we wouldn't have not got those, what's it called? The strength or the cojones of the balls to come back. And once again, I have to commend Brandon Williams. And then straight up afterwards, in five minutes, we made it 2-2. Two, two. When Greenwood, Mason, Mason Greenwood come on, oh, thank God he came on. It was a very well taken second goal. And you know what, yeah? What we've been missing, especially going up front, so a, a striker that will just go for the tappings and flick-ons and then, you know, go for, just go for it. And we've been missing that. And I have to say, sadly, I have to say, Marcus Rashford, we haven't been giving us that. And then afterwards, yeah, brilliant play by Daniel James down the wing and crossed it in. And not even crossed it in, I mean, what's us go play, brilliant one-two between him and Martial and then, so all of a sudden, boom, he was right there. He tapped it in for, what's it called? Marks Rashford. And Marks Rashford tapped it in. 
into the what's into the goal. Oh, it was a brilliant goal. But oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We made it 3-2 and then ended up 3-3. Free, free. Very, very disappointed for us to um, draw the match. We wasn't good enough. We actually didn't deserve it. We was lucky that it, to even get the draw, to get the point. We were just lucky, guys. But apart from that, I, 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 I'm actually disappointed. I, I've had enough. Like, it's just inconsistent performances that we've been experiencing for the last few matches. Like, we, we had an opportunity to become fifth today, and we blew it. And right now, I don't, I don't even know where we are. We're probably 10th or 11th. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough. And and I was I saw some some men surfing about in the web with, um they, they, uh, what's it called, um, Alex Ferguson and Woodward. Having an argument, it looked like um, Woodward was shouting at Fergie. I gotta say, I hope I hope Ferguson was giving it to him. I hope you were saying, "This is your fault, Woodward, that we're in this situation, we're in this predicament. It's your bloody fault with your money hungry, feminine ass. What's wrong with you? Think about football. You know nothing about football. You stupid bank manager. Well, that's all you are, bank manager. Get out of here. You got us all fuming." Giving us false promises. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was surfing around and I'm, I'm, I really hope Ferguson gave it to him. And then well, let's move it out to my man in the match. I thought that it was, I was a bit indecisive. It was between Brendan Williams or Daniel James. I went with Dan James because he was absolutely instrumental in the comeback. And he was, he was 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 got cut throat and he was just attacking all the players from the wing but at the same time he's a bit predictable you all know who my donkey of the match is yes 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 phil jones it's you it's not ashley young ashley young forget about you it's just phil jones today you make me sick you're terrible why do you play just 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 do us a favor and leave don't retire just leave just leave match United and then give someone else your problems like we're tired of having juggling your problems all the time just, just, just all the time. Just, just several episodes of mistakes in your ugly face, pulling your ugly face. Just stop. Just move straight to the player rating. I thought David De Gea. I would give him a good seven. He was, he was important. He done well. He saved us quite a few times. If it wasn't because of him, we would have probably lost. And we move it on to when we set off with three at the back. First of all, terrible, terrible miss. Don't ever play three at the back, Ollie. And then. And we had um so let's go back to the match right and Phil Jones, donkey of the match, two, two, two. You deserve a two. And then who else was next? Lin Lindelof, you was poor, four, Maguire, five, um Brandon Williams, seven, yeah, we got um Fred, six. He was actually quite good. He was keeping things going, he never gave up. He actually never gave up to commend him for that. Andrew Pereira, four. You was terrible. Um, who else was there? Daniel James, a good seven. Um, Rashford, six. And Martial, six. They really have a good game. Even though, besides the fact that Rashford scored, they never had a good game. And I'm just, I gotta say, I'm disappointed. It's a, it's a horrible way to end the week after waiting all that long. And then you just end up joining and then you have to go to work tomorrow start over again hopefully we just pick up the win from the next match in the europa league yeah guys as again they got silence is power you know if you want to catch um catch catch the website it's just um silence is power 2017 also you can buy some hats and some track suits some really cool stuff on the website just um look up on a link underneath the link, link description and also guys i've got to say are you Oli in or out? Or you want Poch in right now? Leave your thoughts underneath the comments. Let me know what you're saying, guys. Smash the like button because I am tired of all this emotions. I am down. I am beat up, guys. Catch you later. We'll see you next time for the Europa League match. Peace out. It's your boy, Ivor and Spice.